This is the Bacalar, a two-seater Bentley without a roof, inspired by last year's EXP100 GT concept. But whereas that was merely a design vision, this is real. 12 cars will be built, all of them already sold, costing £1.5 million each. You're either going to love or loathe the fact that there's a rash of these super limited multi-million pound specials at the moment. Cars like the Ferrari Monza, the Aston Speedster, the McLaren Alva, and now this. But before you dismiss the Bacalar as Bentley trying to turn a quick buck or grab some headlines, there's actually more to this story than meets the eye. Yes, on one level, the Bacalar is just a shrewd bit of business, but it also marks the return of Bentley Mulliner as a proper coach builder, a company that can trace its roots back to the 1500s when it made its money pimping up horse-drawn carriages. Bacalar is the first in Mulliner's coach-built portfolio, so there will be more models to follow that offer radical bodies on familiar underpinnings and the ultimate in personalization. That then complements the classic portfolio, which was kicked off last year with the news that Bentley's going to build 12 continuation supercharged blowers from the late 20s. And of course, Mulliner will still let you go nuts with the colour, trim and materials in your standard Bentley. Back to the Bacalar. It shares just one exterior part with the Conti GT. Can you guess? It's the door handle, because it contains the keyless entry system. The rest is all new. Starting at the front then, this lower intake and these headlights here with the LED running lights bleeding off the side of them, that's pure EXP100 GT concept. I'm not so sure about these uh, intakes in the bonnet, a little bit mansory for me. These 22 inch wheels are actually quite cool. You've got to get really up close to appreciate them. They're diamond cut, but it's the contours of the wheel that are really impressive. The way that they come out and then swoop back in. And I particularly like this ninja star cap in the middle. In fact, the rear wheels are a lot more pronounced than at the front, so you need to take a look up there. Moving down the side of the car, this is not a convertible, of course, because it doesn't have a roof at all, but all the better for looking back there, where the rear seats would be is now a sort of semi-enclosed luggage compartment, which is useful, but also looks very cool indeed, especially because the centre console runs down the middle of the car and then swoops up, looping around the luggage compartment and creating these buttresses or cowls or whatever you want to call them. Um, just to mention this bronze trim that runs alongside the top of the car. It's a bit of me, that is. The rear clamshell, by the way, that's aluminium. The doors and the front wings, they're carbon fibre. And if we come round the back, just a couple more things to show you. The tail lights, those are pure EXP100 GT concept. Again, you've got a floating Bentley badge here. And the track width, it's 20 mil wider at the rear than a Conti GT. So, yeah, it's got presence. But it's the palette of materials that will really fry your brain. There's paint made from rice husk waste, Parts of the dash and doors are cut from riverwood, preserved in peat bogs for 5,000 years, giving it that unique black colour, and British wool is used alongside beluga leather on the seats. On the inside, the overall architecture is pretty familiar Continental GT, right down to the rotating screen in the middle of the dash. Will I ever get bored of that? Nah. Then we get down to the details, the stuff that makes this interior unique, stuff like these knurled stalks behind the wheel and the wheel itself which is flat bottom and has the Bacalar logo down here at the bottom and then you got leather straps for door pulls and in the centre of the dash here this air vent and the clock in the middle has been completely redesigned and this is personalised down here with this turquoise finish and it says one of twelve and then we get to the colour and materials and there are quite a lot to go through if I'm honest so stick with me starting at the top of the dash we've got black leather next to yellow leather and that's next to the 5,000 year old riverwood that we mentioned earlier. We're going to call it bogwood from now on. Uh, more brass trim, classic Bentley veneer there and then that's matched against this grey British wool and then we're down into the beluga leather on the seats. Um, not for the faint hearted this bit but then that's the whole point with this car. The personalisation sky's the limit for that. If you can dream up any colour material combination you like Bentley can make it happen. My favourite bit about the interior, check out the speaker cover over there. Oh, forgot to mention, it moves too, because under there is a six litre twin turbo W12 engine producing 
650 horsepower, which is about 25 horsepower more than you get in the standard Conti GT. It's got the same eight-speed twin-clutch gearbox, it's got the same air suspension. It is essentially underneath a Continental GT, which is in no way a bad thing. But while some of these will be driven occasionally, most would just be admired. They're going to be parked up like a piece of art, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Personally, I'd take a standard Continental and 1.3 million pounds change. But then again, the target audience for this car probably isn't a scruffy oik like me.